On this vote, the yeas are 237, the nays are 170, one voting present. The bill is passed. The House easily approved the $14 billion bailout for the ailing auto industry. It will help GM and Chrysler and Ford, if it needs money, to get through the next couple of months. This is a bridge loan. Without this bridge, we're going to fall into the deepest calamity this country has seen since the Great Depression. But many Republicans argued the measure won't get the industry back on track. This plan is a plan to spend taxpayer money without any real promise or ability to return the industry to profitability. The bill creates a so-called car czar who would hand out the money. That person could also take the money back, forcing the automakers into bankruptcy if they don't restructure their operations fast enough. Supporters of the bailout acknowledge they face a very rocky road to try to get it through the Senate where a majority of Republicans oppose the measure. The White House says the president is personally pushing for it, and Chief of Staff Josh Bolton was dispatched here to Capitol Hill to try to win over skeptical Republicans. Unless Chrysler, Ford, and General Motors become lean and innovative and competitive in the marketplace, this is only delaying their funeral. While auto industry supporters warn its failure would have devastating effects, many Republicans say that bankruptcy isn't a death knell, that it's the best way to force changes that would make the industry competitive. Isn't that putting the cart before the horse? Isn't that, to use a common phrase, just ass backwards? Jerry Bodlander, The Associated Press, Capitol Hill.